So one of your biggest battles to date is against Conceited. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Um, to me, that's one of your best battles. Yeah. Thank you know what I'm you. saying? Um, when that was set up, tell us how that battle got set up and kind of like how you prepared for it going into it because you know it's going to, it's a big opponent. So yeah. how serious do you take it? Like what's your life like surrounding that battle? Um, well, yeah, we've been like talking to Conceited ever since we started Don't Flop, like about getting him out of here. So like that was one of the things that we always wanted to do. But it was never like suggested that I should battle him or any like that until like when we were planning the checkpoint event and I uh, said like Conceited, do you know what I mean? What about you versus Conceited? And I was like, for me, that was a big step up, the biggest battle I've ever took. And I wasn't kind of battling at that time as well. So, but then I thought, fuck it, do you know what I mean? That's like, if there's ever one to do, do you know what I mean? Do Conceited in London, it's going to be crazy. It was for Earth's birthday. The, yeah, in 2013, and yeah, that's definitely one of my biggest battles, and probably the one I'm most proud of. Like, it was like great to perform in London again because like a lot of my big battles have been in King of the Dot as well. Like, so it had been a long time since I battled in Don't Flop, and like there was a lot of new fans and bigger fans. It was like the biggest event we did, so it had the most people. So it was like my first time performing to the home crowd, and like seeing them go crazy over my lines and stuff, it was like overwhelming because I didn't even know. Like, I wouldn't like when I dropped my first bar or whatever, they started reacting already. I was like, I didn't think they were gonna react there. Do you know what I mean? So you never know where they're gonna react and stuff. But um, I honestly, man, it was just like, uh, it was dope, man, like I loved it. And who do you think won that joint? I might have took Conceited on that one, I don't know, I'm not gonna lie. But you know what, I think Conceited is one of my favorites, like he is so dope. Like the battle he did before me was against um, Sue Surf, and I was watching that battle thinking like that was the last battle he did, and that's one of his best performances, it's like punchline every line, and that got me like fucking real shook to battle him, so that also made me step my shit up. But you know what I mean, like Conceited, he's one of the illest, so like, you know what I mean? I think I might have edged him, but I don't know, I can see why people think he might have won as well, do you know what I mean? And do you think, um, I think being that it was right after the surf battle yeah and conceded kind of like got his whole buzz back yeah with that battle yeah I know a lot of people ended up watching y'all two battle yeah. and i've seen a lot of people that maybe weren't talking about you before over here yeah some of the url guys and stuff started recognizing you so you think like your fan base grew a little bit uh, I hope so, man. That's like I like to hear that shit. Do you know what I mean? But yeah, it's just like it's kind of like the same as when I first, my, one of my first big battles I did was against Illusion Z, and that was my first time reaching a lot of new American audience. So from there on, like there was like kind of like another step, that kind of same step was like I didn't have any battles that were like well known before then, and then bang. So yeah, it was good, man. It's like a step up from that. All right.